Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? So I was back once again for another character impression. This time we are the second character of the collab of Kisetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer, whichever you want to call it. The second character which is one of the, the supposedly OP OP character in the story which is Kyojiro Rengoku. He's a fire character, he's human, he's an attack based character, he has uh, 1250 HP. And 97.50 attack. Alright, so his Ogi is called Ninth Form Rengoku. Unworldly fire damage to a foe. And cooldown for first form unknowing fire. Consumes resolve effect to activate. Huh. Unworldly mod though. Unworldly mod is pretty high, isn't it? <laughs> first form unknowing uh, fire. Fire damage to a full caster deals triple attacks while in effect. Sure. Second form, Rising Scorching Sun. Fire damage to a full delay effect. Sure, simple enough. Fourth form, Blooming Flame. What? Fire damage to all foes, 70%. Uh, to 70% all elemental cut. To all allies. Which is damage cut, basically. Hmm. Alright. His uh, passive is Flame Hashira, boost to attack and fire attack. Take a little hit without being knocked out, so he has guts as well. Undying Flame. Resolve effect to Rengoku every 4 turns. And at the end of every turn, Rengoku is almost knocked out, boost to damage cap with resolve effect. Sounds like a good time to try with Zoe Meme again, okay. Zoe Nia Meme, alright. Okay, his EMP is enemy. Yes, enmity and stamina. Wow, okay, that's that's something I don't see every day. <laughs> enmity and stamina. Alright. He has skill cap and what's this? Boost to multi-attack rate when Gen Goku has resolve effect. 20% double attack and 10% triple attack. Well, not too bad. Alright, not too bad. And oh, he so his passive is unique 30% attack. He has 30% Unique attack up and fire 30% fire attack. Actually not bad. Huh. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm actually liking what I'm seeing so far. This is nice. So he has two crits and Ogi. Um I guess you just max out his skill cap. I guess you should just go for this. Why not, right? So Max out his cap, skill cap, so that's like four already. You wanna go either enmity or stamina, I think I'll just go for both anyway, cause you basically have more damage in all of them really. So as long as they have high HP, you get extra damage as well, so why not? But if you're also an enmity, you can also play it, which is kinda cool. You can kind of pseudo play in both ways, both enmity and stamina, which is kinda interesting. Alright, okay, let's 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 give him a go. Let's see what happens if he has fucking constant um and me team meme, alright. See, this is one of the things that I actually want them to improve on when it comes to the training bar dummy. To have like all this diff- like, I want it to be a bit more flexible. So you know, you can change like different types of scenarios, you know, like increasing the defense or whatever shit. I want to see more of that actually, that's why. Alright, so as long as he ogis that and he has that thing, it will always reset. Right? From 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 what they said. Damn, he can multi-attack for shit though. That's one of his problems though, no multi-attack unless he ogis. So you need like a meter generator or some sort. Uh, what's happening? Oh, they're just saying thank you? Okay. Hmm. 
He has really high damage though. Like, high damage to like actually help like low level players to actually do damage. Wait a second, what's this? I mean for a three character is relatively relatively decent though. His damage cap is kinda of like not that not that huge anyway, because you know his auto is only like 700k or so. He does have echo as he does have echo though at least. Yeah, his damage cap is not that huge. It's ten percent. It's all right. He needs resolve to Ogi. Oh really? Oh, that's fucking ass. Really? I thought that was the latter one, cause he doesn't show that properly. I thought this thing. This consumes resolve effect to activate was only for this one. This thing. That was the, the, the one I was referring to. I thought that's what it, it was referring to. Not the Ogi. What the fuck? That sucks then. Ah, oh, that's ass. Yes, that's that's what I was saying. It was very misleading. Fucking hell, that sucks! Oh my god, so you can't Ogi whenever he has no resolve. Then isn't it better to just fucking get him to fucking raid HP all the time then? My my expectation dropped so much, man. I thought he was a cool character, not anymore! And this only lasts for one turn too, it's not like he's gonna get you a lot of meter. It's not like this guy has any meter gain too. I mean, he still does have a lot of damage though, I suppose. This thing does give a lot of damage. Plus they're all nukes. So I guess that's kinda helpful for for new players to well do some damage, I suppose. Oh well. That's that's what I think about this character. It's weak as fuck right now. He looks like a very niche character to me now. Not even situational in my point of view. He's very niche because like it only works for probably new players when you wanna mash. Or at least use nukes to do damage, but his nukes is not even that strong. Alright, on to the next one. Hee <laughs> hee!